Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. That's Eric bringing us back, Mr. Clapton, 7 till the hour. I'm Jim Blassingame. Thank you very much for hanging out with me. Have a great visit with our good friend Bob McTeer, Dr. Robert McTeer, distinguished fellow with the National Center for Policy Analysis, ncpa.org. Right, Bob? Right. Is your own site ready to go? No, my own site was hacked and destroyed. You just so, gave uh, up on it, huh? Yeah, about all I, I have now is my blog, which is on uh, ncpa.org. Right. So they can go to ncpa.org and look for your blog there. Yeah, and it goes back about five years, so there's a lot of stuff on right. it if anybody cares. Absol- no, I think they do. Folks, many of you see Bob, on, especially on uh, CNBC. He was on there yesterday, did a great job. Uh, Bob is a former member of the, of the Fed and uh, uh, was president of the Dallas Fed for many years. Bob, um, as we went to the break, uh, we were talking about the Fed's balance sheet. Their balance sheet is has has increased by how many how many trillions of dollars in the last four it's years? It's gone from eight hundred billion before the crisis to it just touched three trillion. All right, so to over two trillion dollars, a record level, Bob. Does isn't that going to have to be unwound and dissipated and, and cranked back down at some point in time? And 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 uh, if so, and if not, so, not entire, what's that going to look not like? Not entirely. Um, while the uh, total assets of the Fed were going up two trillion, the excess reserves of banks were going up one point six trillion. So, once the banks start using those excess reserves, once they get uh, a better economy to work with and and get the government off their backs a little bit, mm-hmm. they will start lending and investing. And money supplies may start growing too fast then, and the Fed will have to offset that by selling some of those assets. But there's no reason, I don't think, that just because that it went up uh, $2 trillion, that it has to go back down. So you're not trillion. worried about any kind of a scenario, and I, I'm not smart enough to know what it might look like. I couldn't forecast this myself. But you're not worried about any kind of a scenario where where the, the government, the, 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 the Treasury Department, the, the, the overall economic circumstances would be such that the Fed would, would have to sort of do their own, de- own thing and, 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 and lower, reduce their, their balance sheet at the expense of the economy. I do think they're going to have to reduce their balance sheet, but I don't think it has to be as much as it increased. Uh, I think at the margin it can, it can manage that right. reasonably well. The problem is going to come with people who've loaded up on Treasury securities. Yeah. You know, people buying these things at such record low interest rates. Once mm-hmm. rates start going up, those, those things are going to go down in value. They're not going to be worth much. Right. Yeah. So, um, all right, so let's talk, let's talk about unwinding the interest rates. If the Fed starts raising rates, what would, what would be the thing that would cause them to do that? Well, I think before the Fed does it, the markets may do it. Yeah, uh, long term. Once, once, once uh, economic growth picks up and we start having three, three and a half to four percent growth, and maybe if inflation picks up, which mm-hmm. has been very low lately, mm-hmm. then longer term rates will rise no matter what the Fed wants, and the Fed will be holding on to the short rate. So mm-hmm. you'll get a little slope in your yield curve. That will help banks, as a matter of fact, because they tend to borrow short and lend long. Right, and they're not, they're, uh, and they they're looking for that because they're not their profit margins are really being squeezed right now. Yeah, yeah, they uh, banks don't thrive in an interest rate environment like we have, right? As as, as depositors don't. Right. So so but it, so as that happens, then then the uh, so the the real concern that we've got right now. Is in my, I guess, is not so much what's going on with the Fed, but as the Fed starts raising rates, the cost of our national debt, servicing our national debt, is going up. Is going to go up. Uh, and if you had three, four, five percent interest on seventeen trillion dollars in national debt, Bob, that that could that could start get out of hand pretty soon, does could it? Yeah, but the Fed's holding down the cost of the national debt now, and when it 
when it ends this program, it'll go back up. But uh, I'd rather focus on how it's helping now. Uh, when it goes back up, it'll be going back up to normal. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it will be, uh, you know, the budget problem will get worse if the, the Treasury is having to borrow at 3 or 4% interest right. instead of uh, 1%. Are you, are you concerned quickly? Are you concerned about another downgrade? Of, uh, of the U.S. credit value. U.S. Uh, treasuries? Yeah. I don't think it's going to happen. I, I think the uh, rating agencies may have made a mistake when they did it the first time yeah. and, and the markets didn't react. You don't, th- you, th- you don't think they want any more of that cheese out of that trap? <laughs> <laughs> the second mouse gets the cheese. That's though. exactly right. Hey, Bob, thanks for being here. Good job today, as always. Okay. We'll, thanks, we'll see you next Jim. time. Dr. Robert McTeer. Bob McTeer. Ladies and gentlemen, lonesome, the lonesome dove, as they used to call him. I told you we'd get smarter when Bob joined us. He'll be back another day. I'll be back, but not today. I'm Jim Blastingame. I'll see you later. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.